Hey, 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 ladies. This is your girl, Jolie Couture, and I'm back. You guys already know I have another unit for you guys. This one been really, really good. It's off my shoulders. Throw it on and go. I mean, elastic band. I don't have to glue or tape or anything. So, she's cute. Next time you see her, I'm going to change the color and you know do some different styles and stuff with it but for today well before i go to the wig and show you guys which one i'm gonna be wearing i want you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button right there at the bottom hit it and so you could keep up with me with new wigs new units and whatever else i have going on so for today have a nice little unit for you guys um this one is by bohemian which is diana enterprise well bohemian um brazilian secret bohemian um this has writing over it but this is how it looks like and the style we're doing today is called michelle in the color rudy blonde michelle and rudy blonde and this is how it looks like. It comes in a nice little box, so. This is it. Rudy Blonde. I'm getting lighter and lighter. Lighter. <laughs> and lighter. But, I mean, we'll see. So this unit right here, again, is by Diana Enterprise. And this one is a 13, 13 by four lace. So it has a four by four closure in the middle where you could part it anywhere in the middle. It has two cones on the sides to help you hold it down. Also has an elastic band that is adjustable. Um, you can make it tighter. Or you could loosen it and make it looser it also has a comb in the back and with this unit one thing I noticed is that it doesn't have an elastic band so this adjustable band is the only one that you have to work with it doesn't have the extra elastic band around the back all right so let's go ahead and try it on Curly Sue, but I like, I like, I like, I actually really like this color. Oh, she is gonna be a favorite. The hairline is really, really natural, really natural. And then you could part it. anywhere I love these curls mm. yes <laughs> okay I really like this color I really like this color curly 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 all right so the items you're gonna need today is gonna be your lace glue whichever brand today i'm using one by b and b is their um super lace glue white um you're gonna need a rag tail comb a pair of scissors some hair clips a brush some rubbing alcohol and your elastic band we are gluing this one down, so let's go ahead and cut the lace and let's get started. Right. 
So I went ahead and cut the lace. This is how it looks like. So it's not a straight line. Um, I actually used the eyebrow archer and made some ridges in there. So I could lay down a little bit more natural. And I'm not gonna do the bar head, bar cap method today. I'm just doing, just gluing the front lace down and I'm probably gonna wear it for about a week and then see what else comes up. Okay, one thing I noticed is that it's too loose. I have a really small head, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, adjust the band. Much better. Yes, this is a nice grip. Perfect. Like I don't even have to glue it down now. So, if you don't like to sleep with your wigs and you want to be able to take it off, you could actually just tighten up the band and just wear it just like this and take it off at night and throw it back on in the morning with no problem because it is nice and tight. This is the hairline. It looks nice and natural. The lace blend with me pretty well, I would say. I still will probably have to add a little bit of makeup just on the front when I do my makeup, a little bit of powder, but overall it blends. If it doesn't blend, you guys could use the lace tint to spray the inside to blend it out if you're darker or lighter. All right, so let's go ahead and glue her in. Rubbing alcohol. Clean my hairline. I have my own little baby here, but I take my time and I remove the glue, so it's okay if I get a little bit of glue on there. As long as I, as long as you actually take your time and remove the glue from your hair and not just rip it off, because then you're gonna have no edges. I usually
So I got my headband on. I'm about to sit under the dryer for two minutes and then we'll be back. So this is it all dried up um for this one because the hairline is so natural I'm not gonna do no baby hair the only thing I'm gonna do is my little side my sideburn right here yeah so for my summer, I just take a little itty bitty piece, like this much. Yep. Actually, let me grab my got to be spray. You're gonna need this too. Let me pull out my sub my sideburns so oh, it's stuck in my earring about this much use your clips there you go and I'm gonna just raise it up down a little bit oh. and then use my got to be spray to the other side just an itty bitty piece Take your time and untangle. No. There's a little bit of extra lace back here so i'm gonna go ahead and cut it there you go this is too much sideburns on this side just need an itty bitty bit
it's not going to be perfect. One side is always going to look better than the other. It's just how life works. So, take her apart. Take her down. I really like these big curls. But... I'm going to brush it out. <laughs> just to untangle it a little bit. I like this color. No baby hair. I always do baby hair, but today we doing no baby hair. So we could even do, actually, we doing a ponytail today. We doing a ponytail. So let's go ahead and comb her out and pin her up. First thing first, get your wig spray. Just spray it in the air. Then you're gonna take, section it in half. Start from the bottom. Very bottom. And work your way to the top. I'm not gonna make no part in this, so I'm just gonna brush everything going back because we're doing a ponytail today. Same thing to this side. Start at the bottom. Work your way up to the top. Make sure you take out all the little kinks now while you're hearing them and feeling them because later it's going to give you problems. All right, nice and brushed out. Go ahead and grab your rubber band. I'm using these. You could use scrunchie, you could use a ponytail holder. You can use whatever you want. Alrighty, so I'm gonna leave my sideburns down and I'm gonna just take a small layer in the front. See, just like cut it through. You're gonna feel some tracks. You're gonna feel all type of stuff in there. <laughs> but just cut it right through like this and make sure it's fully separated and then you're gonna comb your ponytail out Make sure you get a wig brush. Um, you can get the one with the sponge or without the sponge, but they have like gaps in between them. Those are really good for the wigs. Later on, I probably will do some baby hair, but for now, we're not doing no baby hair. So if you like them tight fitting ponytails, you know, just make sure you Pull the hair from the side. Take your rubber band. I'm going to do a semi high ponytail. So it's not going to be too high. But it's not going to be too low either. The rubber band could be like your ponytail foundation. 
and then later on you could add a scrunchie or something like that so this is it <laughs> I'm back to the ponytail game y'all this is it with no baby hair so no baby hair just the ponytail these are like my own baby edges no like I said one size R is better than the other so these little baby edges my own personal baby edges I'm gonna have to kind of glide through here So this is it. My wig spray. My brush. So this is it. As you guys know, I will be having some um, pictures at the end of this video. So make sure you look out for them and stay tuned. And yeah, if you're not a big fan of the ponytail, another thing you could do is wrap it up in a nice little bun. And of course, you're going to need a scrunchie or whatever to hold it. But I think some baby hair will look good with the ponytail. So, we're doing some baby hair. As you can see, I'm back. And my bun fell out, but... I like this too. Um, I think for the ponytail look, actually, I like the bun look. I'm gonna go ahead and find, get me another rubber band and do it in a nice, neat, this time, neat, messy bun. Just like this around the top. And I'm gonna use my rubber band. Just a rubber band. My got to be spray. do like this look but I'm just so obsessed with the baby hair what you guys think let me know in the comments what you think should I keep it like this actually you know what 
I'm gonna post a video, a picture at the end of this video of both without the baby hair and with the baby hair. And just let me know what you guys think, which look you like better, which one you wanna try. And see you guys soon. Bye.